Styling City, Joey lines up in the main race on Sunday. You trialled him last week. What was your take on that trial? The trial itself was very good. Obviously, John asked me to look after him, just not go too hard. Um, I couldn't be more pleased than we how he trial. It's a time of the year where even the best horse are not running. So even if it's a class class one race, a strong race, it doesn't seem to be the strongest in Hong Kong. Uh, he's been very good to me in the past. He's he's very straightforward type of a horse. A smaller feel, a small feel can be a bit tricky, but he's one of those that has got gate speed, so he, so he should be up there on the pace. And um, I'm quite looking forward. He's a nice horse and he's, he's capable to win the race. As you say, you've had a bit to do with him in the past. You rode him when he won his Griffin races. That was the first time on Saturday night you'd sat on him since those Griffin races. Um, does he feel any different? Unfortunately, there was a, uh, there was a big break between the time I rode him on the Griffin races to the next time, which is the last trial. Um, since then, he's done very well. He has won a number of races with some other jockeys on board. And he's definitely a, a much more mature horse. He's a different horse than what he used to be when I used to ride him. Um, if he's enough to win a group uh, class one race, we're about to find out, but he feels like one of those. Blake, lucky guy, you rode in a trial last week. Was it the plan to give him a quiet trial that night? Yes, it was. Um, uh, Dennis just wanted him to have a, have a quiet trial out the back and um, in the lead up to, to this weekend. And I was particularly happy with how he felt. He, he felt terrific. And yeah, I'm pretty happy, pretty happy to be riding him this weekend. And for you as well, there's been a lot of talk about you coming here to Hong Kong to ride over the last few months. It's been, in general, a long time in the making. You've got uh, plenty of rides on Sunday. Are you looking forward to now just getting out there and riding? Yes, I am. It's been a, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, I have to yeah, sort of pinch myself that you know, we're now here. Um, it's been a lot of hard work to get here over a number of years, probably seven or eight years. And um, I'm just here... You know, working, working my backside off to try and do the best we can. Um, I feel I'm in probably the, the best form I've ever been in my whole career. I'm at an age now where I'm, you know, ready for this challenge. It's Hong Kong's a really, you know, tough, tough place. Not only the riding, but the, you know, the mental side. But um, you know, I'm ready for the challenge, and and hopefully I, I'm I'm up for it. Do you feel you've got a good book of rides to start things off on Sunday? I do. Yeah. Look. It's not easy for any any jockey um, we've seen com- coming here at their f- their first stint. So to have eight rides, I think it's you know you know I'm I'm pretty proud of that uh, in itself. I think we've got you know four or five you know live chances. I think Lucky Guy's one of them. Pearl Champion, Empty Wins, and Seasons Bloom. You know it might be a bit short for him, but his trial was nice and his work is really good. So. I'm optimistic that all those horses are, are chances and even to have a ride for the champion trainer John Zyers, I'm really excited about that. So I'm making nice connections at this early stage and hopefully that can lead into something really big in the future. Zach Dancing Fighter hasn't had too long between runs for him. Uh, what were your thoughts on his trial down the straight last week? Yeah, I thought his trial was good. Um, it was probably a better trial than what he produced going into his most recent run. So. I think having that run at the back end of last season and Casper's been able to continue to work him along, I, I think he's in a little bit better form than last start. Last time out, um, was he in need of the run or so? You dropped the whip over the concluding stages. Did that make a difference to the result, did you feel? No, it didn't. He was already beaten at the time, but it was more that he'd um, had such a long time off. You know, he'd come back, he's not the biggest horse, he had to carry a big weight, so he was just feeling it. The shadow row goes on. He had that on for the trial last week. Could you notice a difference? Um, not a huge amount of difference, no. It sort of probably just kept him a little bit more focused and giving him something to look at than, than looking around a little bit. But he's got that awful, awkward high head carriage, which is why it flicked the whip out of my hand last time. You know, hopefully he can get his head down as time goes on. Just finally, um, in your career, you would have received plenty of big checks in your career for big race wins but Wednesday night a big check of a different sort uh, the Quacks donating to your good friend Ty Anglin that must have been special for you to be a part of that yeah obviously um, you know it's a situation that we never like to see and you don't want to see um, anyone end up uh, in the position he's in but uh, the Quacks have been very generous obviously it happened on their horse so 
they felt some type of responsibility and they were kind enough to come to the hospital when Ty was here and had a talk to him and, um, you know, passed on their, their sort of well wishes and, and whatnot else. But, you know, they, uh, they came up the, with the idea themselves that they wanted to try and help um, their kids as, as they got older. So it goes into a trust to be used for them, for their education um, later on in life. And, you know, it's going to give them um, a nice start in life and uh, it's, it's very generous of them. Um, I think it was the plan we changed a little bit because um, after he won the 12th last start and actually decided to put him away for summer but um, yeah his form been okay so um, decided you know have one more run and I always think he, he can be he's a good horse for 14 as well but probably a little bit too rushed and didn't have a uh, trial or jump out and he's too fresh for 14 obviously so um, he was too keen early and you know just got flat the first time 14 and yeah but for sure he, he, he is a nice horse yeah so as far as Sunday is concerned coming back to 1200 meters is that a better thing for him uh, yeah, I would say so, and he is working well uh, for 1200 and, you know, early season, he should be hard to beat, I would say. For most jockeys, they've had a break over the off-season, but you had a working holiday in the UK, you rode six winners, including a winner at the Shergar Cup, can you just tell us a bit about what you got up to over the off-season, Vincent? Yeah, uh, working all, all off-summer. And uh, in England, it's, it's really good. I work for Mr. Mark Johnston and he supported me a lot. Uh, had 22 rides in a lot of you know, different racetracks. And uh, it's, it's good to ride in different racetrack and different horses, and get to think a bit, you know, uh, something different, left-handed, a mile straight. You learn to be patient and, you know, you, you can feel, you know, you've got to feel, have a good feel of your horse and when to pick up, especially going uphill and that. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's really good experience. And Shaga Cup, for sure, I'm very grateful to be in it. Uh, to be able to ride and, and win in Ascot is very special. Uh, track is very nice. Atmosphere is amazing there. And yeah, it's, it's just, you know, one of the privilege to be in it. He's being very straightforward in his, his last two start when I've been on board. Um, as I said before, he has been gilded on the off season. I think that's going to be a plus to him. He seems a bit more mature. And I'm more than convinced that he's more than good enough to be winning the class three class that he's in at the moment. He's a three-year-old, he's only had a few starts. How much potential is there, do you believe? I think we're far away of, of his peak. Uh, I've been kind of indicated that he seems, feels like more than, good, more than good enough to be winning the class where he's at the moment. So that means I'm indicating that he's going to go quite high in, class, in, in rating. Very hard to predict where he's going to end up at, but yeah, it feels like there is plenty of more rating points in him. So there are a couple of your rides for Sunday, but as far as you yourself, you're a three-time champion jockey here in Hong Kong, club jockey for this season. How are you feeling personally heading into day one? I can't wait to start it off. Uh, being a stable retainer last season for size was very good. I was very pleased with the result we got together. But I feel like I'm capable to win more races than I did win. And I'm, I can't wait to start it off. Uh, it seems a very different scenario at this time. A lot of new face jockeys, and seems like everyone else is going to find a bit a bit tougher. But even if if it's tough, I believe I'm capable to be right there with, on top with them. And uh, the, the, the thing that I can say, I'll be doing my very best. If that's going to be good enough to be fighting for the title at the end of the season, uh, we're going to have to wait to find out. But what I can say, I'm very much looking forward to that, and I can't wait.